Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we are with a new content that is ICD 10 CM guidelines chapter 4. So today we will be seeing about uh, diabetes mellitus conditions. So uh, before entering into the video, if you are watching my channel for the first time, please do subscribe and if you find it useful, please do share it with your friends also. And for ICD guidelines, hereby I have added a playlist. I'll add the i-card here so that please go through uh, the remaining chapter like chapter 1, chapter 2 guidelines also so that it will be really helpful for you. So in this chapter 4 guidelines, uh, we will be seeing about diabetes as well as the type of diabetes and uh, how diabetes is coded along with uh, uh, how it is coded during the gestational period and what are the complications which is happening those things will be completely discussed in this chapter so at the end of the video like after this presentation i will be adding a ppt so that you can go through it and you can see like how each guideline is being described and how we should implement the code based on the primary diagnosis as well as secondary diagnosis and you will i'm sure that you will find it really useful so don't skip the video in between watch the video completely for your clear understanding okay and after completing all the guidelines i will add up a few practice scenarios so that it will be really helpful for you also so without wasting time we can directly enter into the ppt thank you so much and again i am telling you if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe take care bye bye Okay, so today we are uh, starting with chapter 4 that is endocrine nutritional and metabolic diseases code series of this is E00 hyphen E89. Okay, so in this chapter mainly we will be discussing about uh, diabetes mellitus condition. So we'll enter into the video. So before uh, like uh, what you have to know is first thing we have to know what is the code assignment for diabetes for diabetes we will be coding from e08 to e13 in this type 1 and type 2 diabetes are there type 1 means less than 14 years that is before puberty type 1 is also called as juvenile diabetes and if there is a pre-symptomatic type 1 diabetes you have to code e10.8 type 1 uh, diabetes that is pre-symptomatic and type 2 diabetes we will be coding e11 so in your question if the type of diabetes is not documented like type 1 or type 2 default you have to assign it as type 2 diabetes clear so you have to know what is type 1 and what is type 2 so if the age is clearly mentioned like uh, below uh, 14 years that is uh, it is clearly given you have to code for type 1 diabetes okay and then diabetes mellitus and use of insulin or oral hypoglycemic drugs and injectable non-insulin drug so if the documentation clearly so if the documentation in a medical record does not indicate the type of diabetes then you have to code it as type 2 diabetes and if the patient is taking insulin second code should be for insulin so whatever it may be either it may be insulin or drugs or whatever it may be that should be the secondary code next guideline complication due to insulin pump malfunction so under complication we have two types of complication for uh, insulin pump malfunction that is under dosage and over dosage if it is under dosage due to insulin pump failure first code for mechanical complication of the device second code for under dosage of insulin third code for type of diabetes and fourth code for the complication which is happening because of under dosage next is complication due to overdosage that is overdosage of insulin due to insulin pump failure first you have to code for mechanical complication of the device second you have to code for poisoning by insulin that is overdosage is equal to poisoning so second you will be coding poisoning by insulin that is t38.3x1 and third you have to code for type of diabetes next is secondary diabetes secondary diabetes is always caused by another condition or event so please underline example cystic fibrosis malignant neoplasm of pancreas pancreas pancreatectomy adverse effect of drug or poisoning so we have three codes for uh, secondary diabetes that is e08 e09 e13 e08 for underlying condition e09 for secondary diabetes due to drugs and e13 is for other specified diabetes 
next is secondary diabetes due to pancreatectomy as you all know the function of pa pancreatectomy means what removal of pancreas so the function of pancreas is production of insulin so if the pancreas is removed and the patient is getting secondary diabetes first you have to quote post procedural hypoinsulinemia that is after the procedure insulin production reduced second you have to quote for secondary diabetes and third you have to quote for uh, absence of pancreas so that's all about um, chapter 4 guidelines hope you understood please uh, listen to it at least two or three times so that it will be helpful for you make a note of all the guidelines whatever i'm teaching you so that you will have a proper understanding of the guideline and it will be really helpful for you when you go for the interview thank you so much for your time take care bye bye